Hey guys, Blake here, and I have a tutorial for you today. This is a Wizard 101 tutorial for Max. Um, you can watch this if you want, but if you're not using Max, it's not really going to help you at all. Anyway, if you use a Mac, then you know it's pretty darn hard, and I mean nearly impossible, to play Wizard 101 on two screens. If you have two accounts and you want to play those two at the same time, it's really hard. But I found out a nice, easy way to do so. So you'll see here, I have both my accounts running at the same exact time. Window size is exactly the same, and it doesn't lag that much, depending on you know, your computer's capabilities and such. Anyway, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do this, and it'll only take two minutes. So get ready. Okay, so what you want to do to run two accounts at the same time is first off, navigate to your Apple menu in the top left corner right here. Once you open that, you want to go down to force quit. Now, you don't want to do anything right now, just keep that open. Next, go to your applications folder and find. Let me move this. Go to your applications and find crossover. Let that load. It's taking a while because I've been running it all day. So anyway, so the way I do this normally is, well, close that out. I right click cro uh, cro crossovers, go to King's Isle, which is one and hit play. Now you want to uh, log in like you normally would. So I'll just log in really quick, and it'll take a couple minutes. So just be patient. I'll probably speed through this anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, now that the download's complete, you want to hit play like you normally would. This will bring up the Wizard 101 loading screen, which will take I don't know 30 seconds or so to actually load, which is kind of okay. Okay, now the Wizard 101 screen is open. So you're gonna go, you're gonna get to your character screen or your character select screen. Okay, now that you're here, this is where the force uh, force quit comes in play. Now you want to click here and hit force quit. Now you might think that this will close the Wizard 101 running right now in the background. But this is just a launcher. It, everything's like run in here. So what you're closing is a Wizard 101 launcher. And if you have experience, you know you can't run two launchers at once. So if you force quit this launcher, force quit, close force quit applications out, go back to crossover, go back to King's Isle, Wizard 101, and hit play again, it'll reopen a new launcher, which will allow you to run another account simultaneously. So I'll just sign in really quick. which will take a couple seconds. For some reason, the object, or not the object, the so world data takes a long time to load, which is different. It started happening today. I don't know, but it doesn't bother me that much. Sometimes it does, especially when I'm in a rush, but whatever. Okay, now the download's complete for the second launcher, so I'm gonna hit play. Wait for the other one to load. I just noticed this was had green eyes and all my other ones have blue. It's kind of weird. He's my main wizard. Hmm. Whatever. So, just waiting for the other one to load. Okay, there it is. I can just move this over to the side a little. Let it load. Press any key. And there you go, you have two simultaneous accounts running, or you have two accounts running simultaneously, which is really good, especially like me when I'm questing on this one and he needs help. Just send one over, one of these over and help him out. So that's how you run two accounts at the same exact time on your Mac. Um, I hope this video helped you, and look in the description for some important links like to my Twitter and to the Code Weavers website to actually download Code Weavers or crossovers for your Mac 
which allows you to play Windows games and Windows programs on your Mac. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. See ya.